What you do? <laughs> <laughs> what you do? Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and we are here at the Modern Quilters Quilt Show. I'm with Kevin the Quilter. If you haven't already, you should have already seen the video with his studio, and go check out his blog at kevinthequilter.blogspot.com. See you inside. <laughs> So just giving you a global view of the show. Got vendors along the outsides and quilts everywhere else. Rainbow block of the month. So but you also More rainbow quilts. I'm not gonna even begin to try to tell you who all did these quilts. But I will show you some of the quilting up close. Drain blocks, crumb blocks. Very nice. <laughs> Are you voting? <laughs> well, you know I am. <laughs> I don't even vote because by the time I get through investigating them up close with the camera, I can't even pick one. <laughs> So we're still in the rainbow of the month. Got these pineapples, we did these at our gill. I think I did a video on a pineapple. It's a little different than this though. So let's find out. Very nice. Oh, question, yes. The holes, yeah. I'll see you. <laughs> I don't know. Love the quilting on this, just wavy freestyle. No pattern. Very pretty. Just got huge bear's paws. I'd say the half square triangles are three inches. So, like a 21 inch square for the bear paw.
<laughs> right. Are you see me again somewhere? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Vicky, I know how to get rid of Vicky. <laughs> Except, yes, because like I have a quilt in here that I'm like, can you do something? Like at some point I will make a pattern. This is pretty cool. To share it with you. To share. Exactly. <laughs> New take. So what else? What's going on? That would be cool to <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, cause what do you do? Do you buy it? You can't use it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You don't Look at this quilt here. This is their raffle quilt. That's pretty cool. Three quilts here, the same with different coloring. So this must have been a class because I've seen quite a few of these. hexagon quilt or it's not really a hexagon it's like a kaleidoscope <laughs> it's got eight sides like this one too so here is your block Right here, four patch, two rectangles, and then a square in the corner. Reminds me of Judy Lacordaire's nine patches in the corner instead of four patches. Beautiful. beautiful color as I turn around. Puzzle quilt. Look at the quilting on this. Wait, wait, you, you think they're, you think, Hi. you think because Pearl knows everybody, that's why she wins it? <laughs> this one's pretty too. Rainbow quilt. I'm going to go out there and I really do. So this is their, so this 
Okay, ready? I, I, this is my Christmas quilt. Crumb quilt. And... Harry Potter quilt. Becky will like this. <laughs> this quilt's called the suburbs. I did a block of the month where I showed you how to do the house block here. And I love all the text in the background. Very nice. Wow. This is a retreat project here, this whole wall. We call it the miscellaneous items. Love the tote bag. Got a bear. Another rainbow looking quilt. All with uh, 60 degree triangles, which is really nice. There. It's a cat. <laughs> over there got a reindeer <laughs> more square in a square in a square smaller size here's your block right there I like the quilting on this various scallops very nice. Would you like, did you want to see the backs of any of these? No, thank you. Just okay. beautiful. Same thing we're doing below. Oh, I like this one too. Just on point. One flip square in a corner, all on point. Very nice. Love the texture, the color, and the background print is what really makes the quilt. Very pretty. Just like the lady with the bowl and stuff. So this is minimalist design area we're in now. Isn't that pretty? It's a 
the, the color of blue is so soothing. <laughs> Especially like the outer blue. Mm-hmm. Once she gets back, it's like outer space. Very nice. Wow. This is Annie Cook's quilt. Oh, we're back to hexagons again. Very pretty. Lots of quilting. And then they just kind of fall off at the bottom. Some owls. And we saw this one at the Ferguson Library. You missed that video you can go and google t quilts ferguson library quilt show and then one more here nostalgic triangles yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Lots of one inch finish strips. This is April. <laughs> Station quotes. <laughs> here. Another crumb quilt. That's cool. like that where it's lighter on top and then it gets darker as it goes down. Very nice. Look at the quilting on that one. Excuse me. Got a poor jello quilt. Flying geese and rectangles and strips or bars and just a plaid quilt. Very nice. A pieced plaid quilt. Very nice. And then Got a dream big panel. Custom quilted. Grand Air Christmas quilt. No excuse challenge. Got some big stitch hand quilting in here as part of the design. Very nice. Some miniatures. That's pretty too. And hexagons again. The aisles are zigzagged, which makes it a little bit more difficult to show you the full photos. Just don't have enough room, so that's why I will angle out and show you some like that. <laughs> so, most 
to these square quilts. Quilting on this is awesome. Different colored threads, just haphazard in the background. This is a wool quilt. Hexagons again. Ooh. Triangles. Isosceles. With a cat. <laughs> it's cute. The quilting is nice too. It's just, I think I did this in my rainbow quilt or something similar. Very nice. Clamshell quilt. Very nice. Love the pastels. Very soft feeling to it. Hexagons again. <laughs> Interesting, all works. Very nice. Another clamshell quilt, a little bit more colorful this time. Clamshell. That's our blues. And then we've got gray as the main color. Pops of blue and red. Real interesting. I need to get my apple quilt completed. Ha, ha, ha. I need to work on the border. <laughs> Applique and hand work is what we have been in. Ooh. Very nice colors here look like mostly polka dots circles of some kind very nice fruit this Halloween quilt and another one right there You can go ahead. <laughs> How are you? It's okay. Nice dress and plate quilt. Triangle on the end. That's interesting. And then the sashing. It's nice. I've been wanting to make one of these quilts and haven't gotten it done. Jack's Chain is the name of this block. <laughs> and then we have some triangles here. Flying geese. And a sampler quilt. Very nice.
and double wedding ring quilt. just wanted to show you that they used a uh, piecing these two blocks is where it's connecting but those are squares not really one piece so yes interesting how this is put together let's see we'll take the label in case you want the information another sampler quilt this is the farmer's wife sampler quilt huge Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna run through these so that I can go find Kevin. <laughs> he wanted me to actually look at some of these with him. And I was trying to videotape. <laughs> he has called me and said, where are you? <laughs> So we're just gonna run through these a little bit faster, but you can see them. Just straight line quilting in this. Um, <laughs> um, oddly shaped stars here is very nice it's different and we've got the bow ties and I don't know what this block is called oh, I can't remember I don't know if it's ocean waves but I don't think that's it <laughs> don't touch the quilt oh that's cute got words that are um, pieced into it. Very nice sewing machine. Crayons up at the top. So very nice. <laughs> How are you? I started that name. Oh, that was a wrap. I don't know how to I know. This one's My cute too. To it starts <laughs> with a half square triangle in the middle, then rectangles, and two half square triangles in the corner, and two squares. Very nice. And just alternate. Very nice. I like that. <laughs> Again, I'm just going through these pretty fast. I'll show you those since I'm far away. <laughs> Hexagons again. Yeah, they were pieced where they split them straight down the middle. Makes it easier to put together. And squares. They're 
modern traditionalism. So here's another quote here. <laughs> Sewing bees. So I'm just gonna walk through these really fast. Those last ones. And we're gonna call it done. Beautiful. Another rainbow quilt there on the end. Here's a quilt I can show you full size before I move. And then this rainbow might be the pillowcase maybe for the quilt. I'm not sure, but it's beautiful. Ooh, nice sampler quilt there. Big too. <laughs> Their wedges and then placed at an angle in the box. friends and I will see you in my next video. Bye everybody.